Hey, what's up, Pisces? How y'all doing? All right. What month are they tossing off their back? I knew it wouldn't take long for that to come out. The devil card. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So either you're the one who has the mask on now or somebody's mask is about to be reduced and it's about to be taken away. I feel like maybe how you show up, this is Capricorn energy. Um, you're going to force some people to have to like get um reinforcements almost <laughs> that's what i'm hearing like reinforcements like this person's gonna need reinforcements or that's what this person has right here in the xi i don't know if this is the death card shoot this could be justice let's see hmm punishment mm. eternal law above human law new karmic balance harmonization perfectionism Oh, I'm scared of you. Then I think this is the nine of bow. The fear of traveling. Hold on, let me make sure I got that right. Fear of traveling. Fear of solitude or change that can be the first step to a new level of maturity. Crisis. The painful birth of new understanding. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here, Pisces, but let's see. Okay. We have punishment here. Pisces is administering our punishment energetically. I'm not even talking about physically. And, um, yeah, just energetically. This punishment is coming in for Pisces. This is something they've overcame, something heavy. Lessons, you know, things like that. Let's talk about it. What's the major lesson that is going to extend out punishment to those who have wronged them or done them wrong energies people places and things all of it we want it all three of wands king of cups king of pentacles mm. what two cards let's see one, one yeah one at a time mm -hmm. One more card, Spirit. Yo, y'all must have a lot to say. Or it's like a sticky situation. Okay, the Six of Swords. So, it's like somebody wants to calm, come to you with, like, calmness and, like, kind of discuss things. They want to have some type of offer. Or, no, let me say this. It looks like you came to somebody in this Six of Swords energy to give an offer or to maybe ask for some help. Maybe to bring some truth or some clarity to a situation somebody whether it's king of pentacles or this king of cups these are too masculine i feel like they did not choose you maybe they chose another path some path something like that you have the two of cups the two of swords you have the hermit in the reverse um yeah i don't know i was kind of getting some situation where you know two masculines may be together possibly i'm not sure what's going on with this king of pentacles king of cups energy are they separate or are they the same who is this what do they want who are they to pisces seven of cups they're a game they're they have different talents they have different aspects their illusions uh will of fortune the ace of wands and the queen of pentacles somebody like tries to keep offering you like um it's like passion in order for you to like i feel like give up like some of your power maybe give up some of your money um after that is the nine of cups so that's someone's self-love you know what i'm saying it's like somebody keeps trying to make you exchange out like they want to be loving to act like they could take care of your household and and and, and, and like they'd be willing to they, they it's like oh i want to accept an offer but it's like this person would choose another way like they wouldn't even choose like a uh, I just feel like you're the one who's not taking the offers. These people are in the middle. I don't know why. I don't know why they, somebody's sending people to come and talk to you. What is this conversation with the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups? What is this about? The King of Wands. 
So this person could be like wishing or hoping that she was actually going to come by and, and, and offer them something or to talk to them or to just give them the time of day, but you don't. Five of Pentacles, like you kind of just five of Wands, four of Wands, like you kind of just leave them body, them with them themselves, like their own mind, their own body, their own soul. You know what I'm saying? It's like they have to deal with whatever it is that's going on with them by themselves. You just chugging along. Okay, thank you. Because I was like, y'all making this a little difficult for me to understand this part right here. Hold on. And I got real antsy. Why is the King of Pentacles on the shadow side of the Four of Cups? So this person is like, they act like, it's like they act like they're too good for what you have to offer, what you had anyways. What is the King of Cups and um, the King of Pentacles and the Four of Cups spirit for Pisces? It's the hangman. So, and it could be that this person not accepting your offer at that time, it was more of like a game for them. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like they might have embellished a lot on their gaming side. This is somebody who's probably supposed to be like an emperor because we have three kings out here and whatnot. But this person, they act in their different elements. Like, I just feel like inappropriately with the, de the decision of paths and where one should go, they have the small cup. So they, they invest a little, a little emotion into where they drift or where they go. And then for the bigger part of this King of Cups cup, this person will invest in, like they, they have a heavy investment in being financially set, but being bougie and not like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like they'll dismiss six people before they even consider to think about something. Not to mention on the bigger part of their cup, it's all about their games and stuff. You, their money is what pays for their lifestyle. It's what pays for them to feel okay. It's what pays for them to feel blessed. Them going towards you was not them feeling blessed. Okay, what was this King of Cups going to feel like if they chose to build with the Pisces and this Three of Wands uh, connection or this energy? The death card. The, now, this could be that somebody may have felt like they were going into some type of alignment, but to me, I just feel like somebody was trying to go, was going to sit there and what, play the game until they could roll out. And because they did that, and this is all sitting behind them, all of this is sitting behind them. They got a sink in their head that they was playing games to roll out on you. 656, six, confirmation from the message on the phone. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Fool. Somebody came in, they threw you a bunch of burdens, and then they rolled out Capricorn Energy. That's the death card. Punishment is death. Mm. Scorpio out here twice. Check out the Scorpio reading. What's the punishment? What's the punishment for doing Pisces like this? And you could have been in this energy, Pisces, but you was the one doing this. What's this punishment for Pisces energy? One more card spent. Mm. All right, so you guys got the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. Confirmation. You take some type of truth that you've been holding on to. It's like what you're always going to be bringing in this truth, or spirit is going to keep bringing in this truth on this person. What do they manifest every time they they do this magician with the Knight of Cups? What's being manifested on the other person's end? Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna be on their head. They are gonna constantly be reminded about how they did something in the past, like what they were actually giving. Was it a worthy offer? What You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, two of pentacles. People can give you an offer, but does that mean that the offer is like actually up to your standards? You have the chariot on the bottom of the deck, the five of wands, the nine of wands, the five of pentacles, dang. You got the, and the three of swords. It's almost like the third party energy is all linking up with each other. It's about to be a whole party. Like in this, the chariot is rounding everyone up right now. Yes. It's like this chariot is rounding up everyone and bringing everybody, like, come on, get inside. Y'all, you too, stalker. You too, fake person out in the cold. You too, third party energy that did all this. Like, come on. And it's, it's going to take y'all, it's going to take that energy somewhere. All right. What's the, the truth with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles? This exposure, this truth that's going to be sitting heavy for a long time. 
somebody gonna have to face it in their everyday being they might have to face this for the next 10 years with this ten of wands here clarifying uh over this ace of pentacles knight of pentacles I mean, ace of Pen ace of swords knight of pentacles and this king of wands and this person knows that this is coming towards them that's what's coming to them with that conversation of the six of swords yep on the bottom of the deck is the seven of swords the lovers and the five of swords oh my god they do not want to talk to you because they know that when you come talking then this feminine energy starts to speak it's a lot that's going to be unraveled about the situation somebody is not going to be able to keep lying to somebody else whether they're going to another lover or not they're not going to be able to keep lying about this what is the knight of pentacles and the magician they manifest okay so they manifested for god to come and scoop them that's all i'm here was you manifested yeah with the six of pentacles you manifested this cross watcher or whoever this is and this energy that's going to take this punishment it's like every time you do something that 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 cherry gonna be on you every time you do something that ace of sword gonna tap that head it's gonna come down on that head every single time because you manifested it you wanted it you wanted it when you was doing whatever you was doing when you're trying to hold back somebody's truth the king of swords is on the bottom of the deck the untold story and the six of pentacles i mean the six of cups and the wheel now and the two of cups now somebody wants to tell their version of the story now someone wants to speak about what has never been spoken of but the the, the trick of the trade is this has been spoken for now, also, too, what I'm getting for this little energy down here that's taking this little white rose, because that must be the theme of the day is this white rose energy, is that you got somebody who's coming in who want to defend this little sweetie pie down here from her past hurt, from her past pain. And this person going to come in, they want to keep coming in like clockwork. They want to offer a stable cup with this two of cups, this two of swords, stable, clear thinking. You know what I'm saying? They want to be able to fend off the deceivers. You know, that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. You got some coming in where somebody wants to defend off the deceivers. So as this person basically manifests for them to have burdens and things come in, what is being offered to you with this knight of cups and this magician against their will this is against their will they didn't want this for you boo boo the ace of wands something new something passionate something that just works out and, and it could be it could be like it's stable because this is going in the dark this is coming from the direction of the knight of cups the 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 death card which those two energies if you set one on top of the other they're basically they got the same thing going on don't they it's the same thing. So it's like they, these energies are here and they're with the Seven of Cups. So it's like somebody kind of gets beat at their own game here with this Seven of Cups energy, this ghosted energy. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Now somebody in their head, well, how do I invest in this? I can't believe that, like, I real life let this go, that I didn't take more time to put into this. You're right. I can't believe you did that dumb smack either. Anyways, so what's going on with this Ten of, of Wands and this Chariot for this Cross Watcher or this Deceiver, this, this person, like, who just, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the Three of Cups. What else? They got this Ten of Wands coming in. The Five of Cups. I mean, Five of Pentacles. The, I'm sorry. The Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. And this person might want to protect you now because of all of this. They, yeah, they might. They have an overwhelming amount of love for you. They're going to want to start looking out for you. You know what I'm saying? This person could walk in a cold just to get to you because you have something that's healing about you or loving and caring about you in this friendship mode, this Three of Cups energy. Someone knows that, like, they, they, and, they, they, and this person is looking out for this, this Ten of Wands to hit them. They are looking out for this truth to come into play. They're looking out for all that. On the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Judgment. And somebody working real hard to get away from your spiritual team, I'm telling you. But eventually, as they go through the lessons, this person is going to learn to actually love on you in a correct way. And I don't mean that you with that person in some type of relationship or anything. You Because, you're, you, you know, you can still love on someone and care about them at a distance and say, Hey, I wish you well, but Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of, nine of Cups, I've been doing some heavy thinking and i don't think this is something i'm gonna put myself into anymore i got a lot of love for you i got a lot of love for me but i got i gotta speak up for me at this point you know what i'm saying i gotta claim my victory i shouldn't have to argue with you about investing in me or investing in my victory you're not doing that you have other things that you're interested in you know what i'm saying and and this is right here this arguing is leading somebody to invest into a five of cups to a pinnacle 
something that is a loss that they're going to have to work hard to try and regain. And nobody's going to know how much they put into it because it's going to be an untold story. Why would you tell somebody that you fumbled the bag? Exactly. Hmm. All right, Pisces. Peace. Thanks. Anomaly.